The MP7 might be the best gun in the game, but this is definitely the best class for it. This gun is probably the best SMG, but on top of it all, overall, it is disgusting. It has practically no recoil, as you can see. I am lasering these targets like it's nothing but basically little to no recoil. The damage, the TTK is pretty insane. It has a six shot kill at almost 20 meters. So these things drop fairly quickly. And to top it off about this build, the movement speed is pretty damn fast. And it also has an insane strafe, as you can see, when I move left and right, it goes very quickly. This build will have you slaying all the bots and pros. So two things right off the bat I want to talk about is one, if you do put heavy damage barrel on this weapon, it makes it a five shot kill versus a six, but you do lose fire rate in the process, which not everyone is a fan of. I personally do like that build, but it makes my bullet rank feel a lot worse because I guess the fire rate is lowered, so the bullets take longer to connect. Also, you can put cleaters on and basically make it a five shot kill too at the first close range TTK. But you know, overall, I feel like cleaners isn't fully necessary and you definitely could dominate with this build that I'm rocking right now. As you're gonna see, time to kill very fast. Recoil control, very good. And it's gonna be really easy to hit your shots. Now, obviously, one of the biggest things is the strafe, right? You're gonna be seeing the strafe being used a lot. Oh my God, the strafe was disgusting. And I'm all out of ammo, so we're going to rock with this vector right here. Currently on a 10 streak. But the strafe is going to be your best friend. And what is that going to do? It's going to help you, one, make the mister shots. And two, allow you to use, to use that rotational aim assist and really hit those shots. I got it. <laughs> the guy with that vector laser, which was actually my latest video before this one. Oh, yeah. We're still cooking, but we do want to use this MP7 here. So you're going to see, you can strafe left and right pretty quickly and when you're getting those gunfights it's gonna make them miss so every time i get in a gunfight with the mp7 i'm constantly strafing sometimes i'll do a hard left strafe sometimes i'll do a hard right strafe or sometimes i'll just go back and forth it just depends on the gunfight depends on where i'm shooting at and who i'm shooting at that was a terrible timing right there gonna jump back here take this guy out and i'm ready for action and that's one good thing about smgs is their strafe and definitely what you're gonna want to abuse and use Right there, it's going to strafe my shots into them and use that rotational aim assist. And I feel like with the strafing, I definitely hit my shots more. It's a mix of that rotational aim assist, which you get extra aim assist from basically strafing back and forth. And also, just simply from I'm allowed to kind of move my aim into them versus having to use my right stick more, which is an aiming tip that I use in my aiming tip video. So strafing is very effective. That guy missed every bullet while strafing, and I'm obviously able to hit my shots pretty easily. Take this guy out. Take this guy out. Pop my ult here. Out of bang. I see you, buddy. What are you doing in this corner? Whoa, 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 whoa. Good nade. Oh, yeah. Come on. Oops. Wow. That is a suck. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Pop camel here. We're going to jump right into action. I'm very confident when I have a build like this that's high on strafe. I'm very confident challenge people, challenge people when I'm one shot, challenge them when I'm weak. I don't care. You know what I mean? Like I'm ready to re You sure about that? So that's one thing I really want to highlight with this build. It is the strafe. And that's how I kind of build this weapon around. This guy's AFK. He's probably lost the plot. Wow. Shredded. Like you can see very quickly that I'm shredding these guys. I mean, this gun's time to kill. Obviously, with the right build is absurd. You really feel like you're just instant killing people, and it feels very good and very fun to play. This guy is back. He's back from vacation. Besides to put the sticks back on here, but he's gonna be a problem. So I'm gonna jump up here, take these guys on first. Hit a reload here on this guy. Oh man, I was ready to eat. So right off the rip, I am using the lightweight stock. Now, this stock gives you a huge boost to strafing speed, and you're able to turn and burn on people a little bit easier than you would with no strafe. So even when I'm weak, even when I'm one shot, I won gunfights normally that I wouldn't win. As you can see right there, I definitely was weak, and I still took him out. <laughs> Lightweight stock gives you 20% of aim and walking speed, which aka is strafing speed. And you're going to notice the difference when you shoot your gun and kind of move around the map versus if you didn't have it on. On top of it, it does give you a 2.5% boost to movement speed. And it has this SMG. You know, movement speed is nice. You know, that's something you do want most of the time, at least. So you can just jump out. Little tip with the lightweight or little tip with this build in general. When you jump out to rechallenge, strafe on one side, like hard strafe one side. 
So if I challenge like this, I can I continue to go left. Or if you jump out right, you can strafe and continue to go right. You can go back. You can go juke him. You know, you go back to left to right. See? I jumped straight right and I went. I continued to go right and then eventually went back to left. Getting camel here. Do you think he sees me? Oh my God, I'm so dead. Oh my God, wait. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a second. He doesn't see me. He's backed off. Pounce! Ha! Got him. And obviously, another attachment that I'm rocking right now to give you even more strafing and aim walking speed is going to be small vert. And that is another attachment I want to highlight. So I am using the two piece, the two combo with lightweight stock and small vert. And it's going to give you that insane strafe. As you can see, that guy could not hit me at that range because I was strafing so quickly. I do get taken down by the light machine gun. That gun is insane, by the way. We might have to make a video on that one one day. Pop camo. Get inside. That's two. Three. Strafe. Oh my. See, so hit the right to left strafe. He could have killed me. I was half health, maybe less. Still took him out, no problem. On a head glitch. That is an insane head glitch. Hit some shots, though. Now, I'm not going to make any excuses, but I am using a brand new controller right now. And you know how that goes. You kind of got to break in the controller a bit. It feels a little awkward at first. So, uh, you know, my shot's not as good as it usually is. But, you know, I, I got to warm it, warm up to this controller. But it's still pretty hot. Holy moly. That's three guys. Another thing I love about strafing is you can kind of strafe off and straight out and disengage from a gunfight if you needed to. As you can see, I did it right there. I challenged that guy, strafed away and killed the first guy and was able to get away. And definitely once you get understand how to utilize a strafe a lot more and abuse it for so many reasons, like I said, it's not only good for one thing. It's why a lot of pro builds and pro players and pro, pro skills and pro aim know how to use the strafing to its full potential. We're going to pop camel right here. Going to re-challenge. This has been an absolute massacre. That's one. Strafe out. Two. Challenge this guy. Three. Come back. Another one. Four. Another one. No. This way. Left. Turn. Hang. Oh, oh I'm on fire! And that's a GG's. Pog of the game. Apathy on Twitch. That's a bad. Almost a 4.0 KD. Next. Now let's talk about it. Quick mag. It is something I'm currently running on my weapon. And some of you guys are wondering, is it even worth it? Well, first thing I will say, not really. On the MP7, the 35 mag is pretty damn good. And it's not like the vector where it shoots too fast. But definitely has still good fire rate. On top of it, what I will say, the reload, the regular reload is actually pretty damn quick. So it feels like... And base reload is almost like you have quick mag, right? Quick mag is a 15% increase. So it isn't huge by any means. That's what she said. Nonetheless, I have used fast mags before and I mainly use it to get really high kill games. <laughs> and it isn't necessary, not at all. So right now I am currently running quick mags because this is what I would recommend. But there is a world where you can take off quick mags if you feel like it and you could put on chrome barrel. As I'm talking to you guys, I'm absolutely demolishing these guys. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Oh my God, I'm gonna tan. Somebody stop me. So you asked me, Apathy, what would I do if I didn't want quick mags or I felt like quick mags wasn't necessary? Well, there's definitely another route you can take. And what I will say is you can put Chrome Barrel on for even more damage range because you don't necessarily need quick mags. So it'll give you even more damage range, a lot of damage range, and it'll make the six shot kill a lot farther. Now, the con of that is you are gonna lose a little bit of movement speed and ADS speed, which has an SMG. You always kind of want those things, but you know, it's not like it's gonna be that much slower without it. Overall, I am a fan of quick mags and I do have it on right now because it's really what I like on this build and there's no cons to it, right? There's no cons at all. You get five extra bullets. 50% quicker reload, which is always nice. And it's definitely a plus with no cons. The, like I said, Chrome does have some negatives, so I feel like you don't really need it. But that takes me to the next attachment I actually want to talk about on this build. It's going to be the Barrel Extender, which gives you a boost to damage range, short range and medium range. 10% increase to both of them. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on your second. Hold on one second. Camo. Let's try to dip out, hit him with a flank. Hey, buddy. Drop that like, please. It helps the video. I just gave that guy some head. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? I mean, headshot. Whoa, hold up. Oh yeah, we're on fire right now. Hold on. Am I spawn on me? We're heating up right now. We're heating up. It's good. We just on a 10 spree. We might go on another 10. I don't know what I just said. Ha! Just get the free kill on the AFKer. I think he's miserable right now. You know what he could be doing? He actually could be switching a class. That's why he's AFK. I've done that before. And I'm kind of just taking advantage of him. This guy's coming up here. Free kill. Currently on 11 spree. I'm one shot. I'm going to hide here for a second. Some long range shots here. 
Take this guy out. Here's some shots down this hallway. Oh, no, Spider! So back to what I was saying. I do got Barrel Extender on this build. Nice little tree piece. Oh, yeah. Love this class. But you see, the cons are just mainly sprint the fire. You lose recoil recovery, but recoil recovery isn't something you should really worry about as much unless you're using like a semi-auto or a burst weapon. So it's more like you lose a little bit sprint the fire, but... Overall, I, for me personally, I would rather get that than lose a 5% to movement speed, which is a pretty big boost in these SMGs, and a 15% of ADS. But like I said, Chrome Barrel isn't necessarily bad. You could even switch it around if you feel like, hey, man, I want a little bit more damage range. You know, I just want my gun to kill a little bit farther. Then, yeah, you can definitely switch up Chrome Barrel instead of Barrel Extender. Or you can do another build where this is going to be more of a ranked play build, even though the one I'm currently am using is really good for anything. Pros, ranked. I dropped 70 kills versus good players with this specific build here. The other one I'm going to be talking about and discussing. Wow, I got bouncing Betty. I hate them. Strafe this guy. Beautiful. Strafe this guy. Oh my god. I just love seeing the strafe just like working for me, man. I just love it every time. This guy, like, oh my god. Thank god I slid. That is one of my tips in my 20 secret tips video that you should check out. <laughs> but seriously, uh, with this build I was talking about, sorry for uh, blue balling guys, but it's the barrel extender plus chrome barrel build. So you're getting a total of 30% damage range, short to medium, 30%. This is like launching the six shot kill. Like, you know, I think it's like eight, nine meters. So it can make a big difference. Now you might see that build being used more in a competitive scene, but then again, it does slow you down in an SMG. Sometimes the highlight, you know, of an SMG, the pros is the movement speed slash, you know, ADS speed. Just being that really good gun up close with an absolute laser right there. No recoil, as I previously mentioned. And this is just looking too easy right now. So that building itself is going to give you a lot more damage range. It's going to give you, even feels like your bullets are just going to connect better. You're going to kill quicker at range. It's obviously going to going to extend a six shot kill, but it'll also extend the medium range as well. So the medium range, even if you're shooting people very far, you know, you'll kill them in like a, bill, a bullet or two less. So this is a build that... Oh, yeah, that's that jump strafe right there I was talking about. This is a build that has it all, man. And that's really what I like about this class or about the MP7 in general. I think MP7, you can argue, is one of the best guns in the game, if not the best gun in the game, because it really has it all, you know, pretty much. It has long range, close range, medium range. Obviously, I think they do a good job of, you know, making ARs have insane range and SMGs don't really have that. But you can map people with SMG. It's definitely possible. I've done it before. And of course, Bouncy Betty again. But that's why the MP7 and plus this build is very effective, very good. It has It's good up close, good at medium, good at long. Uh, obviously, versus insane ARs, you might struggle very, very long range. But this, this gun can definitely take out an AR at medium range. No problem. Now, where it looks like this has been an absolute massacre, I'm getting spidered again. Uh, if you like spiders, drop a like. JK, if you hate spiders, drop a like. I did have a 6.0 KD that map, but uh, let's talk about the attachment, yeah? So, for obviously the last one, it's going to be quick draw. Now, this is attachment that is used on most of my guns, and you definitely don't always need it. But as an SMG, I think quick draw just... It really just strives with it. It's going to give you that sprint to fire. It's going to give you that boost to ADS speed. And with using Barrel Extender, I mean, obviously, Barrel Extender does take away sprint to fire, like I mentioned earlier. So it basically cancels them out. And this guy, oh, yeah. You thought I was shooting somewhere else. That's a love echelon. A little strafe jump right there. Come back. Strafe jump once again. Oh, okay. Got some competition. One. Come back. Oh, that's that strafe in play. Man, that jump shot strafing, I'm telling you, man. You that's how that's a tip for you guys that want to use the strafe more, use it and abuse it. When you jump shot and you strafe, it's gonna be very effective. If you jump out and then you strafe one way or just strafe in general, you're gonna catch people like this, man. I'm just I'm just catching them off guard, just you know, slapping them around right now. Let's see what we got. And dude, these spiders are going to be the death of me. And I'm very confident to take pretty much any gunfight with this class and this build. I mean, I, in my opinion, I think the MP7 is the best SMG in the game. Second close, I would probably say Vector, but I think the MP7 is the best. Pop the Ultra right here. Bam. Bam. That's two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Oh, we're these guys apart right now. Seven. I right hear one more. Oh my God, I had it lined up. By the way, guys, I do got a creator code now. Shout out to Ubisoft. I'm partnered 
Uh, you can use code APTHY at the store when you check out whether you're buying a video game or buying some coins for X Defiant. It's going to allow you to put my code in there. So if you want to support me, it would be much appreciated. But after this, I'm going to break this hill right quick. That's one. That's two. Hard left strafe there. We're going to pop camo. I've been disrupted, so I'm going to wait here for a second for my health to come back. And then we're going to challenge the left side. We're going to repinch this. Uh-oh. Spider. Spider. Damn you. Spider. Mother trucker. I just realized I hit two seconds, but it happens to the best of us. This guy is 30 and 10. And DJ Mark is giving me some competition. Definitely not a bad player by any means. Oh my God. I got the whole team on me. Going to put the shield down. That's two. That's three. Think I'm losing this? No, we we're winners over here. We're winners. Come on, that's four. Oh my God, it's five. Dude, where is my team? Maybe we're not winning. Oh, I got to be very optimistic. I must be optimistic. We're going to pre-fire Nate here. Oh my God. Okay, got it. One of my teammates just left, came back. Okay. It's not looking good, guys. It's not looking good. My teammates aren't the best right now. And we are being attacked from all angles. Every time we're fighting, it's just, you know, multiple angles. But I am trying my best to win this game for you guys. Come on, teammate. We got this. I feel like it's we're a two-man ar army right now. The teammates are sort of helping. Getting, I'm getting a hill for him. And I got blown up as soon as I get in it. But we do spawn here. Beautiful. I want these 15 seconds. I'm throwing a shield down. I want these 15. And I want it bad. Find us. Yep. Easy read. Take you out. Nothing I hit it. He ult. My teammates old T200 for five seconds. This is what I'm dealing with. <laughs> I'm going to hold this head glitch over here. First one down. Just throw a spider at me. Oh, God. It's coming for me. Shoot it off. Like, we, well, we all know how to do this. If you watch my tip video, I get shot in the back. Oh, my God. I want to ulti, but I'm afraid they're going to dead second me. And I think they're exactly waiting for that. They have two spiders. I feel like they're ready. They're ready to dead suck. My teammate left the game mid-game. Oh, my God. It's only me. And the, it's me versus the whole world. I got ulti. If we get that, I'm going to get that sucked. I already know it. I'm calling it right now. They're holding it. Turn, turn around, teammate. Got you. We're going to put a shield down after this. Oh, my God. We're doing it. Shield down. Come on, teammate. Get in the hill. Do something. My God. They're everywhere, man. Like a one-man army. Like a one-man army right now, dude. Holy moly. This is not looking good, guys. I need your I need your energy. 5v6. We would need a miracle to win this one. Shield up. Oh my God. Beautiful shield. Let's save my teammate. We're getting flanked. Left and right. Oh my God. These guys are waiting for... It. They're waiting to pounce all at the same time. They're trying to six-man me. This is the last push here. After he gets two. After he gets three. Gets on the hill. Almost goes four. Oh my God. Let's see him gets one. Oh my god, he pumps them both, but he's dead. Aww. Well, you can't win them all, but I was Kentucky frying them. See, so got player of the game. It's what I do. It's what I do. So here we go. I am running the MP7 Peacekeeper skin. If you're wondering which one it is, because I may have some of those questions. Attachments. Like I said, we got the good old barrel extender for that boost and short range and medium range damage. We got the small vert for the ADS walk and speed. And by the way, this also gives you a little boost of ADS speed. And there's the cons again are just to hit fire. And it doesn't really matter, right? You don't really hit fire. I don't really hit fire. It's rare and it's only a small percentage either way. Quick mag, again, no negative. Five extra bullets plus 15% reload speed. Do you need quick mag? Not necessarily, but it does add, you know, a little bit of pacing to your gameplay. We got the good old quick draw. You do lose a little ADS ability, which isn't the worst in the world. Boost the sprint to fire and ADS speed. This, there's only like two attachments to give you sprint to fire. So obviously it's nice having quick drill on. And then we got the lightweight stock, huge boost to strafing speed, AKA ADS walking speed and a little bit of movement speed. So right here, this is demonic strafing build and it's good at everything. Guys, if you enjoyed today's video and the class, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel and comment down below what weapon you'd like me to do next. And don't forget, you can catch me live at twitch.tv slash apathy. Pretty much every single day. So if you want to stop by, go ahead and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.